Hello friends. I recently had the chance to get my hands on some old stuff. This is an old calculator with a printer. And this is an entirely mechanical racing game. It is battery powered and just have a look at inside. Oh my god. And this is a Windows 98 setup disk with the license. I'm covering the license key so you don't see it. And then there were these two turntables. After doing some quick maintenance, one of my turntables were ready to run so I can enjoy some classy music. But unfortunately, the second turntable had some serious noise problems. And that was really surprising for me, because a turntable by electronic means is a very simple device. Simply talking, if a turntable stylus vibrates, the magnet inside the cartridge will also vibrate, which will induce a very small voltage in the left and right channels, which will be amplified by the power amplifier to drive the speakers. So this means that if the turntable is picking up a very small noise, this is going to be amplified by the power amplifier too. While both of the turntables operate with the same principles, a teardown reveals a very important difference. So what is the difference between this and this turntable? This turntable is a standalone turntable. So what does it mean? As you see, this is made to be powered from the AC mains voltage. The mains voltage enters here and it becomes a much lower voltage after this transformer. It goes through here and it becomes rectified in this bridge rectifier and it's gonna be smoothed uh, to DC voltage by this capacitor. But this product is made to be supplied from a DC voltage from another deck, another part of the deck, sorry through this wire and it is revealed that if we follow this cable to this PCB the ground wire is not connected to anything this is um, these wires are meant to be connected the grounds are meant to be connected in the deck so right now the ground section of this power cable is not connected to anything. So, what does it mean? It means that I have an antenna right next to the delicate phono outputs of my turntable. So since they are very close and running in parallel, it is acting as a capacitor parasitic capacitor so any voltage induced in this cable is going to be passed to these delicate phono outputs okay so we identified the problem but what is the solution to this problem an obvious solution is to connect this wire to somewhere to stop it from floating and picking up noise Here, check out what happens if I connect this cable to this amplifier's ground. Here you can see the PCB on turntable. The two lines in the right are the left channel's ground and the left channel. And these two wires are the right ground and the right channel. And this line in the middle is the line which is causing the problem. It is the line that is connected to the noisy ground cable. And a similar solution is to shunt the noise with this capacitor. If I connect this noisy line to the ground 
watch ground. The noise immediately stops. The same is the same also applies with the other channel. This turntable example is only one of the many possible cases where we may encounter this problem. So in order to avoid this problem, we need to keep the floating metals away from the sensitive parts of our circuits. So what can be these floating metals? It can be a floating track in our circuit for example, or it can be the metal casing of the final product we designed. If the problematic part is a track in our PCB, we can just connect it to the ground in our design. If the problematic part is the metal casing, we usually prefer to shunt the noise to ground with the capacitor because many regulations require us to have a degree of DC insulation in our products. You may be thinking that connecting the metal housing directly to the ground may offer better performance because the capacitor only can filter the high frequency noise to the ground, but it offers poor performance with the low frequency noise. But in practice, the noise we have to deal with is usually at high frequencies, usually high enough for the capacitors to conduct the noise freely without having any problems. So it is an acceptable trade-off in our design. We found the cause of the problem, and now I can enjoy my music. However, when I powered the turntable with the wall board, I encountered a very nasty surprise. And this time, filtering the noise with the bypass capacitor doesn't help, because the noise is present in both of the power lines. This problem is known as the common mode noise. We will investigate the cause and solution of this problem in another video. Until then, please take care. Please consider subscribing and have a good day. Thank you for watching.